Hello everyone. Nice sunny day. I just wanted to give you all a new updated tour of how well the garden is going. The Washington weather is absolutely perfect for vegetable gardening, so I will show you how things are going. Um, this patch was a mix of Northwest wildflowers, but it got, <laughs> I put way too many seeds in way too small a space. So they kind of grew and fell over and were a big mess. So I took them out. So that's a pumpkin grown in the back there and then an artichoke here that I transplanted. Um, the uh, snow peas and sugar snap peas are growing like mad, especially the snow peas. Um, try not to get my shadow on here. But there are tons. I keep coming out here every day and getting a bunch of them. Um, this one plant, like it's taller than the fence. Um, they seem to be doing really well with the string trellis. Um, got some really nice big snow peas. I really want to go to the store and get stuff and make stir fry tonight because I got so many of them. Um, the romaine has, uh, it wasn't doing really well and then it really came back and now I'm just non-stop lettuce. Um, I give a lot to my neighbor because I can't eat it all. But look at that, it's so nice. Um, nice big healthy leaves of romaine. So good. Um, then we've got red leaf and we've got some green leaf in there too. We've got a really cool, I only had one of these, I wish I had a couple more. Because they have a really good, almost a little more bitter than the regular romaine. Um, red leaf romaine, I guess it's red romaine. And then I got a curly red leaf back there. Red leaf and green leaf. Um, one more romaine. Those are some, I don't know what's with these sugar snap peas. Some did really well, like this one over here. But then others are really still tiny and they were all planted. I planted on, let's see, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. Uh, three months ago, March 27th. So, um, yeah, I don't know why these are so tiny and these are planted the same day. It's kind of weird. Um, this is a pepper plant. Um, hopefully it's going to get hotter and it'll do better. This is kale. It's done really well, too. I got tons of kale. Um, it's cool like the romaine. You just take off leaves and more are there the next day. Um, these are my shallots. I think I realized these Brussels sprouts would get so big, so they're getting a bit shaded, so they're kind of slow and growing. Um, these are my Brussels sprouts. They're absolutely amazing. There's six plants here. I started off as two rows of three, but then when they got so big, I relocated them and ended up with three rows of two. And um, they're just now starting to get little. I read online they start growing towards the bottom. You can just, if you look in the crook of those branches, that's where the sprouts will be. Those little dots you see there. But God, I'm going to have a ton of Brussels sprouts. And my friend Angel, I'm most definitely going to ship you some because you said your husband really likes them. So I'm going to stick some in a FedEx box and send Brussels sprouts to you guys. Um, then over here, I had the artichoke here, but it really wasn't doing well. And so it seemed like a And plus, I moved these guys up and took up some of its space. So instead, I put in some tomatoes. And we've got, um, this is a black cherry tomato and a... Uh, it just says patio. I'm not sure how big those ones are going to get. But what's weird is this is supposed to be a cherry tomato. That's kind of big for a cherry tomato, don't you think? Anyway, so the garden's doing great. I didn't even have to use the raised bed garden that I uh, frame that I had for my old place. I may next year. I just got to figure out where to put it, but I just didn't need it. Um, over here, I have a uh, scarlet runner bean planted. These are two blueberry plants. They're just starting to get some berries in. Here's a nice one. Um, this is French lavender. Oh, it smells lovely. Um, and then my pumpkin patch. I still need to put a trim on here. Uh, what do you call it? Edging. Um, this is yellow squash, crookneck squash over here. And these two are Casper pumpkins, which are the white pumpkins. <laughs> and then look at these guys. These are, um, they're called Big Max pumpkins. And uh, <laughs> what's really funny is I planted these five weeks ago from seed, and I wasn't sure if this was a sunny enough spot for them, but they seem to be quite happy. Isn't that crazy? So um, I'm going to move my barbecue probably around to the side of the house since I don't use it all that much, and then um, dig this up and let them expand out this way so they have more space because I actually have like 10 feet here they could expand to. Um, over here, I had some flowers, but they kind of croaked. I may take them back to uh, Lowe's because I think they warranty them. <laughs> um, this is jasmine, which is absolutely awesome because that's my bedroom. And uh, at night especially, you can smell it. Oh, it's so nice. And then these are petunias. And then this was some kind of green that was already here, but 
I need to kind of thin out the weeds a bit, but I like it better with the green. It looks kind of pretty. But anyway, that's my backyard. And um, I did get Jakey a little pool. I need to cut the grass. And I'm getting a little above ground pool to put out here for myself to lounge in. So anyway, hope you like. And uh, get planting. Grow your own food. It's fun. It's cheap. And it's... Uh, it's uh it's cool. <laughs>